Hey, this is Angie Brown at Exam Pro, and on AWS, we have a variety of different storage services that are available to us, so let's quickly go through them. So the first one on our list here is S3, which stands for Simple Storage Service, and it's an object store. I like to think of it as a hard drive in the cloud where I don't have to think about the actual hard drive. I can just upload files, and I don't have to worry about running out of space because there's unlimited space, so it really is a no-brainer, okay? And then you have S3 Glacier. And so it's like S3, but it's extremely inexpensive. But the trade-off here is that you have to be okay with waiting uh, for several minutes, up to hours to access those files. And when you do access those files, there is a retrieval cost. Uh, so it is a really good use case for uh, large enterprises who have lots of sensitive data, but they have to hold on to it for seven to 10 years, but they're very unlikely to actually ever look at uh, that data, okay? So that's where S3 Glacier comes in. Then you have Storage Gateway. And so I like to think of Storage Gateway as an extension of your on-premise storage into the cloud. Uh, you could also use uh, Storage Gateway as a backup solution. So for your local storage, you would just uh, back it up uh, onto S3 there. Okay, and so uh, basically Storage Gateway is a hybrid solution uh, for on-prem to cloud for storage. And then you have EBS, which stands for Elastic Block Store. And this is essentially a virtual hard drive in the cloud that you can attach to EC2 instances. And you get to choose what kind of hard drive you want it to be, okay? So if you want it to be a solid state drive, which are optimized uh, for higher IOPS and better throughput, uh, or you could use um, an HHD, which is going to uh, be more inexpensive solution, okay? And then you have EFS, which stands for Elastic File Store, and it is a file storage solution. So it's like having a file system that you're able to mount to multiple EC2 instances at the same time. Whereas with Elastic Block Store, you're only able to attach that to one EC2. Um, so uh, that is a huge advantage there, okay? All right, and so now we're looking at Snowball, and it is a way of moving a lot of data around uh, very quickly from your on-premise uh, network into AWS or vice versa. So let's say you have terabytes worth of data, uploading that uh, directly to AWS would be extremely uh, slow and painful. So uh, what AWS will do is you order a Snowball, they'll send it to you. It's basically a computer in the form of a suitcase with a lot of hard drives in it. And uh, what you're gonna do is you're going to quickly uh, load your data onto uh, that Snowball, and then it's going to be delivered to AWS uh, directly into S3, okay? Uh, and then uh, we have Snowball Edge, which uh, happens just to be like a Snowball with additional features uh, and more storage. So it actually can um, also process uh, data uh, 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 as it's being inserted into the snowball, okay? Uh, and then uh, last on our list here is Snowmobile, which is super cool, and it allows you to move petabytes worth of data. So it's actually just a giant cargo container uh, or a shipping container on a semi-trailer truck, okay? So it's basically like a data center on wheels. So um, uh, AWS will uh, drive it to your on-premise uh, um, location, and you're gonna basically just uh, hook up to that um, and you're going to move all of your data onto there, and then it's gonna be driven back um, to AWS and then loaded into S3. So there you go, that uh, is the storage um, services on AWS.